Alrighty, hopefully this is going to work. Alrighty, this video is going to be about my favorite pond fishing lures. Now, there's one bait that's not going to be in this video, and that's a frog. It should be in the video. I ain't got it out yet. I should have. But the frog is one that is definitely in there, any color frog. But first is going to be the hard baits. Number one hard bait is the Rebel Pop R. Just a bass color. Any color Pop R can work. Uh, my favorite is a silver back or silver black back color, but this one here works good too. Next is little Rebel, a teeny R craw or something like that crankbait. Will be craw color crankbait. Um, next is going to be the soft plastic baits, and number one, if they're not biting very well, if they won't bite a senko or swim bait or a jig or anything else, throw something like this. Now this is like a finesse. It's like a, it's kind of like a Ned rig, uh, just we kind of a, I don't know what you want to call it. I call it an ultra finesse shaky head. That's just what I call it. It's got just a tiny little jig head for crappie fish. If I can grab a hold of it, right? It's just got a little tiny crappie jig head with a, a green pumpkin, half of a green pumpkin finesse worm. Next is one of the most versatile baits I think in my opinion it's the most versatile bait out of all of them you can put it on a jig you can put it on a chatter bait you can put it on a carolina rig a texas rig a weightless rig i mean you could put it on any kind of rig maybe not an alabama rig i know not an alabama rig you know they should make i don't know if they make them or not white anyway i ain't even showed you the bait yet brush hog like a, this one here is a Strike King Game Hog, but you rig it weightless and you can buzz it across the top of the water. It does that really well. You can put it on a jig or something like that. But you know what I don't think they have? A white brush hog. I'll have to Google that later. I don't know if they got white brush hogs or not. I may have to. If they do, I might buy some. That'd be a good bait. But white brush hogs would be pretty cool. But that one there is watermelon red color. Next is a green pumpkin senko that's that's the best pond fishing bait there is you can rig them weightless or texas rig sorry about that weightless texas rigs uh carolina rigs uh anything like that um this one here is just on a two-ock gamagatsu hook uh, that's my favorite hook ever if you guys are getting annoyed by me saying that it is it's just my favorite hook ever um it's perfect size in my opinion. They don't bend. I mean, I've hooked four pounders with them, and they just don't bend. I've hooked, uh, I've hooked, I didn't say it caught, but I've hooked a fish close to five, maybe even six pounds with it. I, I mean, I hooked them. I didn't catch them. But, you know, they don't bend. They, they just don't. Next is a swim bait. Now, this here is a, just a young swim bait. Uh, I Googled it a while back. It said young shield tail swim bait because the tail i don't know if you guys can see that it kind of looks like a shield and i looked up looked it up and it said yum sweezy swim bait i don't know if i'm saying that right it's s-u-e-z-e -E. i'm pretty sure that's how it's spelled if i remember right but just on a three yacht belly weighted screw lock hook that's one of my favorite swim bait rigs there is next is uh hybrid baits which basically are skirted baits like swim jigs uh, chatterbaits, spearbaits. This one here is a green pumpkin chatterbait made by Strike King. It's the Rage Blade with half of the yum swim bait that I was just talking about on it. I just put that half of swim bait on there because it, it'll make it heavier and it'll make it sink faster and cast farther than the uh, little twin tail thing that it comes with. And that there's good for uh, representing bluegill. Next would be a chatterbait white chatterbait that same type of this one here's a z-man um white chatterbaits i love white chatterbaits they're my favorite uh they're one of my favorites i got a lot of favorite baits uh but they're one of my favorite baits for fishing around grass lines they're really good uh, for mimicking a shad next for mimicking a shad a little bit smaller profile i mean if you look at this and this pretty a lot smaller uh, profile than the big chatterbait and this is a strike king painted blade mini king that's one of my favorites and i usually now i don't use a, a trailer for spinnerbaits now you can i mean i've seen a lot of people do that but now 
since I've started fishing spinner baits a lot more, I would rather not use a chatterbait uh, trailer, you know, like a twin tail trailer or a swim bait or something. I would rather not, but on like a chatterbait or something like that, I would definitely use a trailer. But on a spinner bait, I wouldn't. I'm, it's just per, it's my preference. Uh, you guys can do whatever you guys want to do, but I've gotten more bites fishing it without a uh, trailer. I already talked about the green pumpkin chatterbait next, and this is going to be my final bait. Now this is like a frog. They're completely different types of bait, but it's like a frog in my tackle box. If I'm going to a place I've never been before, never even seen it, don't know what kind of grass is in it, I'll use a, I'll bring a frog and a jig. Those are the two baits that I'll bring. Definitely. This here's just a brown and orange jig with a black neon trailer. Now, the thing with a jig and a frog, um, one's for grass, one's for no grass. The jig is for no grass, the frog is for grass. Now, if you're going to a pond you've never seen before, bring a jig and a frog and whatever other baits you want to bring, but make sure you have a jig and a frog because I've been in those situations where I go to a place I've never been before, don't bring a frog rod, don't bring a jig, and you regret it instantly. I remember I went to a pond one time because I thought the grass was already dead and gone and I didn't bring my frog. Well, they were hitting top water and there was a lot of grass around. You know, you regret not bringing a frog instantly when those happen, when that stuff happens. So this is, that's the video there. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and put a comment down in the comment area. Um, I haven't posted in a little while. I don't know why. I guess I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go fishing maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I don't know. I'll have to talk to my parents. But uh, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I know it's late, but happy Memorial Day to all people out there that watch these videos. Um, thank. I want to thank all uh, service people, all the people that have served in the military. Uh, for keeping this country free and uh, thank you for all of that that you have done and uh, thank you for all the ones who didn't make it home um, so hope you guys like this video um, make sure you uh, like the video and comment if you like the video because that's what that like button's for <laughs> So if you have any suggestions or anything, make sure you put them in the comments. Or if you have any questions about what lure to use and what time of year or something like that, uh, make sure you ask those questions. I don't mind asking questions or I don't mind answering questions. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a bait that I didn't put in this video that you like to use pond fishing, tell me what it is. You know, uh, If you guys want to see more videos like this... Um, more lure videos or if you want to see more lure making videos or more hunting um, uh, story videos stuff like that let me know that way I can try to do more of them so thanks for watching the video I hope you guys liked it I'll give you one more look at all the lures there's a jig there's all the baits there make sure if you're going pond fishing to get one of them that's that's for sure. Some green pumpkin cinco's work awesomely. Awesomely is awesomely a word. They work good. There you go. There's that. I know good's a word. <laughs> Thanks for watching.